Hey, what's going on? It's story time with Daddy. Hey, uh, I got a great book for you. The Snurch. Ari and I already read this one, but Torin wanted to read this. And uh, it's by Sean Farrell. Pictures by Charles Santosa. All right. The Snurch. Ruthie has a problem at school. It's not the students. It's not the classroom. It's not the reading or the writing or the math. What could it be? It's the Snurch! Oh, dang. Let's see. Teacher says, Ruthie, please take your seat. How's the lighting on that? Cool. There's her seat. And there's the Snurch sitting in her seat. How do you like that? The snurch is lots of things. Nice is not one of them. <laughs> the snurch is scribbly and scrunchy. The snurch is grabby and burpy and rude. And the snurch is always with Ruthie. Oh, no. When the teacher calls Ruthie, the snurch throws her pencil and Ruthie forgets the question. Oh my god. During recess, the snurch makes rude noises and no one wants Ruthie to play. What? And when everyone draws in art class, the snurch becomes truly terrible. It hides, it waits, and when the teacher asks, if anyone wants to share their work, it leaps, it grabs, it crumbles, it makes sure no one will like George's drawing. Oh my gosh, it's a menace. Teacher says, Ruthie, that's not okay. It wasn't me, said Ruthie. It was the snurch, of course. No one has a life as difficult as Ruthie's. Poor thing. Ten whole minutes later, Ruthie tries to draw something pretty or cute or happy, but all that comes out of her crayon is unhappy scribbles. The snurch is no help. Ruthie looks really hard at the snurch. Ruthie draws. Art class ends. Teacher asks if anyone would like to share. No one is more surprised than Ruthie when she stands up. No one except the Snurch. I will, said Ruthie. Look at that Snurch. He's like, what's going on here? She shows her class, her drawing, her classmates look. It's what throws our pencil, says one. It's what makes weird noises, says another. It's what drew on my drawing, said George. Ruthie knows the Snurch wants to run away and hide. I'm sorry about that, says Ruthie. It's okay, said George, and I like your drawing. And then another kid says the same, and another, and another, and everyone agrees. Oh, Ruthie has drawn a wonderful snurch. Yes. That's fantastic. <clears throat> Ruthie likes school. She likes the students. She likes the classroom. She likes the reading and writing and the math. And Ruthie still has a snurch. And the snurch is still scribbly and scrunchy. The snurch is still burpy and grabby and rude. See that? <laughs> but the snurch also likes to listen sometimes. All right. That's great. And sometimes the snurch is even sorry. Oh, good snurchy. And as hard as it can be to sit next to a snurch, Ruthie realize, realizes she's not alone. Oh, George has one too. I like your drawing, says Ruthie. Thanks, says George. Look at all those snurches. The end. Very nice great to keep those snurches under control.
kids, I love you so much. And I miss you and can't wait to see you. All right. Good night. Love you. Mm -hmm.